So as the year draws to close, I am more than happy with the progress of my camera slider. I've just got to show you that intro again because I really like it. So I'm using EEZ Studios to do these UIs. So that's just <laughs> a bit of promotion. Here I set the length of the camera slider and some speeds and acceleration values. Then the next screen is a warning that the camera slider should be on a stable platform because when you home it, the slider is going to twist and turn and run along the track for its limit switches. So now the camera slider would be homing. This is the main screen. There's a little bit of a safety logic built in. So I need to set an in point. I haven't done the midpoint yet and set an out point. So these buttons are used for the tilt. This is linear position, pan position. So if I press on these, you can see these numbers will change. Uh, and they need to go that way to make it go bigger. This is the pan. So if that's my in position, I would press in. And now that's gone green because I've set the in position. This warning I need to change. This is saying that I haven't moved the camera slider away from the linear position of the in point. Now, the problem with that is if you just want to twist and turn the camera mount without moving it, at the moment you can't do that. So I just need to change that logic. So if we just change that position slightly, alter the pan and tilt, and then we set the out position, you'll notice the green button now will allow, allow you to play the animation and the warning message has gone, gone away. I think I'm going to remove the speed buttons from here because once the animation is in progress, you really wouldn't want to change the speed. So these buttons here, when you're testing your positions, that is saying go to in position, go to mid position, go to out position. Uh, and that's it really. On, the, on these values here, I need to make those store in EEPROM somewhere. So when you restart the program, if you've changed these values, they will be stored so they're left how you set them. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that playing a few times. That's Andy wishing you, well, Christmas has gone, so it's Happy New Year wherever you are because it's New Year's Eve tonight. So if you like what I'm doing, check the long-form videos that are coming up and perhaps you'll join me in my next video over in YouTube on long form. Cheers for now.